Are you hoping to get a little bit of crypto coaching to help you get started farming Chia? You're in luck, because I'm here to help you get started farming Chia with Prohashe. All of the links you're going to need in order to get started farming Chia are available in the description below this video. But just in case, here's how you can also find them on the Prohashing website. Prohashing.com has a great help section where you can click Guides and then Farming Chia with Prohashing. This is a detailed walkthrough including all of the links you're going to need and screenshots to help you along the way. The Chia Network would also like you to first start with the Beginner's Guide. This is introductory information to help you understand Chia, a link to install the software, information on some of the hardware you might need, and a link to a command line interface, just in case you want a more advanced way to use Chia. Once you've read through the beginner's guide, they would also then like you to take a look at the quick start guide. This is more intermediate information, but still information that they would like you to have before you start mining. Once you've gone through all of the information they would like you to read through, you're ready to get started. Okay, so you've read through all of the guides and you have the information to get started. Now you're going to want to click on the link to install the software and I'm going to talk about the Windows installation in this tutorial. You're going to scroll down to Windows and next to install the Windows installer, you're going to click on Chia Blockchain Windows. This file takes a few seconds to download. Once it's downloaded, you can click on it to open the file and run the program. You will most likely see a warning window from Windows because Windows doesn't tend to like this file and you're going to need to give it permission to continue. I can't reproduce this because I've already downloaded the file, but if you would like to see what this looks like, there's a screenshot on prohashing.com in the Farming Chia Guide. Once your file has downloaded, you're ready to click on it, open it, and get started. It's going to take a couple seconds for it to load and turn on, so I will come back when it's ready. You've installed the software, given Windows permission to continue, and opened up your graphical user interface, or GUI. Now, it's going to ask you to create a new private key. I don't need a new private key, so I'm not going to create a new one, but I can show you how it works. When you click the green button, it's going to give you a series of random words. These are your key. As indicated by the instructions up above, it's very important for you to write these down. It's also very important for you to write them down in numerical order. As you can see, each word is associated with a number. If you don't write them down in the exact same order as they appear, it's as good as losing your key. You would then click Next, but I'm going to back out because I already have a key. When you get into your GUI, you'll see a full node overview. Yours will not be green here. It will have a very large number in yellow and it will say Syncing. This is not a quick process. It's going to take some time. Once it starts syncing, you can probably leave it overnight and it will most likely take several hours the next day as well. But for now, there are some steps you can complete while it's still syncing, so I would suggest continuing to watch for just a little while longer. Let's take a brief tour of some of the menu options in your Chia GUI. The first menu option on the left is the full node overview, which we've already taken a look at. The status will still be yellow and say syncing. The connection status should be green and say connected. Right below that is the wallet. This is all going to be zero because you haven't done anything with Chia yet but the wallet status should still be yellow and say syncing. The important part of this right now is your receive address. You need to be able to locate that very soon. We're going to skip over plots and farm for now and go to pool. This is where you're going to create your plot NFTs. Plot NFTs are NFTs that can be reassigned to different pools so that each plot assigned to an NFT will farm for that NFT's pool. Farmers can assign plots to plot NFTs on creation. Once a plot is assigned to a plot NFT, it cannot be changed to another. Changing the pool that the plot NFT uses, however, will assign all the plots belonging to that NFT to farm for the new pool. 
In my case, I've already created one, but you should have a button that says join a pool. Once you click onto it, it will tell you that you need a little bit of chia in order to join a pool. What you are going to have to do is click a button that says get chia from XCH faucet. Once you've clicked on the green add XCH from the faucet button, you'll find yourself on this website. As you can see, it's asking for your Chia wallet address, which can be found in the menu on the left hand side as we were looking at earlier. You click on wallets, scroll down to receive address, copy it to your clipboard, and then paste it into the address. Indicate that you are not in fact a robot, and then click Submit. You're all done. However, until you're done syncing up your blocks on the Chia GUI, you're not going to be able to see when you have money in your wallet. For now, what you can do is you can go to the Chia Block Explorer, and you can search by your address. Paste the same address into this block, and once you have been sent the Chia from the faucet, you'll be able to see the transactions in here. I'm not going to need to wait for this to show up because I already have Chia in my wallet, so I'm going to continue on to the next step. From this point on, you're going to need your block synced in order to continue, so you may want to walk away for a while and let your computer do its thing. It's going to take quite a few hours, so you're going to need to be patient. We're also assuming that you already have a ProHashing account set up, so if you need help getting that started, you can go over to our YouTube video, Getting Started with ProHashing. The URL is in the description below the video. Once you've all synced up, you have your Chia from your faucet and you're ready to go, you can click on Pool. This will bring you to your pool overview. You will most likely see a big green button in the center, but I've already added my plot NFTs, so I'm going to come over here and show you how to add one. We're not going to self pool, so we're going to click connect to pool. This is where we're going to type in the pro hashing URL https colon slash slash pro hashing dot com colon three three six zero. We're going to leave the fee blank. And as you can see, once you're done typing in the ProHashing URL, you'll be able to verify the pool details below. And you're going to click Create. This is going to take a little bit of time, and once it's finished, I'll show you how to create a plot within the plot NFT. As you can see, I've already created my plot NFT, and it was automatically named Orange Penguin. The number of plots connected are zero because we haven't gotten to that step yet. We're going to come over here to the left and click on plots. Yours is going to show a green button that says add a plot, Right here, I've already created a plot, so mine's up here. We're going to the same place though. Since you've already read the beginner guide and the quick start guide, you have all the information you need to decide on spacing. I'm gonna leave the default to keep things simple. I'm also only gonna create one at this point because that's recommended by the Chia network since we're beginners. Because we're only creating one, it doesn't really matter whether we plot to queue or plot in parallel. But if you are doing more than one, you need to make sure that if you plot in parallel, you have enough space because it's happening all at once and will require more space to do so. The Chia Network recommends that if you're a beginner, you leave all of these advanced options alone. So we're going to, to leave the default set. Step three is to select a temporary directory. This is where the plotting takes place. You may want to choose to use external hardware for this because the drive that you select can take a pounding during the plotting process. However, you want to make sure that you've read all of the Chia guides, 
including the beginner guide and the starting guide in order to have the information you need to select the best hardware for this process. Once you've created your temporary directory, you're going to come and select your permanent directory, which is where your plots are going to live and where your farmer farming is going to take place. Now that I've selected both of these, I can come down and select the plot NFT that I've already created, Orange Penguin. If we hadn't already created it, we could have come down here to add new plot NFT and gone through the same steps, but since I've already created my own, I can just select it out of the drop down menu and I'm going to click create. This plotting process here is going to take a while, just like the syncing did, so you may want to take a break, walk away, grab a drink, and come back when you're finished. I'm going to use a plot I had already created to finish the tutorial. Once you have finished plotting, your status bar will turn green and it will say farming. You can then click on farm and you should also see in your farming status box that it will say farming in green and the rest of your stats will appear in your farm overview. You can then click on pool and you can double check that you're farming for pro hashing because the plot NFT that is directed to our URL will also say number of plots one. This is because we created one plot. If you created more than one, you should see that number here. The most important part of this whole process is to click these three dots in the NFT box and then edit your payout instructions. This is important because if you do not direct this plot NFT to a valid ProHashing username, we won't know where to send your points because we won't know who they belong to. So your points will accumulate but they will be forfeited after 12 hours unless you go in and change your payout instructions. If you forgot right away and you get to it within the first 12 hours, they should still go to your username. So once you've clicked edit payout instructions, you're going to change the pool payout instructions to your valid pro hashing username. Then you're going to click save. It's gonna look like nothing's happening because there's something interesting going on with the GUI at this time, but it's still going to send your username in your payout instructions to ProHashing. And once you've completed that, if you check your dashboard, at some point in the next five minutes, you should see that you are mining Chia and it's showing up on your ProHashing dashboard. Farming Chia is a great opportunity to get involved in mining cryptocurrency while also minimizing your electricity usage and your need for single-use hardware. It's also a great chance to dig out some of that old hardware that might not be great for traditional cryptocurrency mining and is just sitting around collecting dust. And don't forget, if you do need to review some of these instructions but would like to do it in writing, access the links directly or look at some of the screenshots, you can still check out the Farming Chia with ProHashing guide on the ProHashing website. We look forward to working with you. Happy farming!